Hey, I know the story isn't anything new, but I want to send it in anyways. Hi, I'm Kate. Hi, my name's Chris. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. I'm a fan from Birmingham, Alabama. Yes, you have fans on the East Coast. Hi, my name is Allie. Welcome to another episode of Why We Love Critical Role. So this is a quick video about what Critical Role means to me. Uh, one minute is really short, but I'll try. Oh man, under a minute? That's not gonna happen. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to keep this short, uh, but I keep running over a minute and I'm like on my 10th take and I can't do this, I can't do this much longer because I'm nervous. I originally wasn't planning on filming something, but then I had a really shitty day today and thought I should talk about something that makes me happy. It's three in the morning and I'm up in Europe to watch Fox Mark and kill something. That's how much Critical Role means to me. What does Critical Role mean to me? I suppose in a word it's inspiration. Means inspiration. Critical Role means to me is that even when we have sleepless nights, <laughs> I still have something to watch and keep me company. It means staying up late, sometimes past 2 or 3 a.m. on Friday mornings to watch live, even if I have to work in the morning. I actually get up every Friday at 3.50 a.m. because I live in Germany, uh, before work to watch uh, the show live. It's been a huge inspiration to me for storytelling purposes. It is one of the most imaginative forms of storytelling I've ever seen. So much more than just a show. What I see on screen is the exact same game I play with my friend, except I get to experience this one game with tens of thousands of other people. The best example of all the things I never knew Dungeons and Dragons could be. I obviously really like the characters. I find them very relatable and really inspirational. It means joy and excitement, but it also means crying for these characters that I've come to love so much. I really love being able to turn on, I was about to say the telly, the Twitch, <laughs> and see three badass women doing badass stuff every week. What Critical Role means to me is a sense of friendship. When I found Critical Role, I was instantly attracted to the friendship that existed between the cast members. As a re retired soldier, it's kind of easy to forget that there's still great people like you guys out there. So seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It means being part of a creative and fantastic fandom that adores a group of fun, kind-hearted, inspiring, affectionate, relatable, nerdy-ass voice actors. The story of Vox Machina means that there will always be friends that you can find and families that you can forge will keep on fighting their hardest with you even when it feels like you've already lost the war. Sometimes you just have to roll the dice and let fate decide. Okay, so critical role and what does it mean to me? It's been a tough year, dudes, and um, it's been a tough year. It became hard to find a reason to go week to week to week. And then I found critical role. Then came critical role. Critical Role got me through a lot of the rough days. I discovered Critical Role at a difficult time in my life. My brother had just passed away and life was kind of crappy. It helped me to get through that really sucky time. This year I had serious depression and anxiety and so on. Essentially I was having trouble getting to grips with who I was and who I wanted to be. It, it gave me something to cling to um, in a really dark time and made me beg my friends to play D&D &D and then send them sad D&D &D photos when we did it. A little less than a year ago, I was in a very different place. I was depressed and I, I didn't really see a point in, in living. And Critical Role changed that. Because it has gotten me through a particularly hard year, which started with my mom getting very, very sick and then passing away within six weeks of her cancer diagnosis. A couple years ago, I was in a very dark place and a friend introduced me to Critical Role and ever since then the world has seemed to get a little brighter. Um, the Critical Role has gotten me through the death of my grandfather, it has gotten me through the threat of homelessness and it continues to get me through the constant stress of a close family member and their battle with cancer. Say you guys saved my life, I'm being literal. Uh, before Critical Role, I was in a pretty bad place. My depression was at its all-time high. I had lost my core group of friends, and it, it had gotten so bad that I decided to end it. Um, I knew everything, what I was going to do. I even had a date set and planned. And that date came and went. Um, for all intents and purposes, I was watching something so compelling that I forgot 
my plan. Um, it just didn't occur to me anymore. I've said it before, but Critical Role was a light in the darkness for me. Critical Role really gave me hope. It's helped me get over the feeling that I can't keep doing the things I like to do because of my age. And that everything's okay, that I can keep doing it. You're only as old as you think you are. I, I sort of stumbled into this community and found a family. Critical Role is family, and family means no one gets left behind. Because of Critical Role, I started DMing my very first campaign about a year ago, and it's been amazing since then. I've met a bunch of wonderful, fantastic people. The whole community around Critical Role got me into stuff that I never would have liked in the first place, too. Uh, the playlist got me into churches and first aid kit. Uh, Patrick Rothfuss's guest appearance got me into the King Killer Chronicles, which I love. I've joined some amazing D&D games. I have started drawing and creating again after pretty much giving up on it. I have grown so, so much as an artist and a person due to the support of all you critters out there. About a year ago, the cast decided that uh, they liked some of my work and asked me to do some t-shirts for them. Now, until that point, I was just a hobbyist, not really a graphic designer, but I'm gonna be, and that's thanks to Critical Role. Hey, you helped me specifically through my social anxiety. I, for the first time, was able to talk in front of a crowd at Indianapolis Gen Con. I asked you guys a question, I was shaking, uh, but I did it. I have seen that there is so much more for me to explore as a performer, and has rekindled my passion that had recently been waning. For this, I could not be more grateful. There once was a girl from New Jersey who loved many things that were nerdy. She cosplayed and crafted, but dice weren't added till seeing that show late on Thursday. From watcher to player to DM, the obsession became quite extreme. Her dice bags did swell and her shop's doing well, and it's all thanks to this nerdy stream. The fan art inspired me to try um, to start making art. I stink at it, not good at it at all. Nope, not good at all, but I'm trying. When I first started watching these nerdy-ass voice actors, I was a college dropout with no job. Now I'm a teacher whose OTP has officially gone canon. TWICE! I'm not saying causation, but I'm definitely saying correlation. The critical Role changed my life. Critical Role has positively, like, changed my life forever. I work for a social service industry, and we primarily serve people with mental health issues and that are suffering from poverty. I am currently working uh, at St. John's University. I've been granted the ability to start a Dungeons & Dragons group through my job, which I absolutely love, and I know my clients do too. Creating a group um, for students to get into RPGs and board games, and you guys are the reason behind that. You guys are amazing, and thank you so much for sharing your beautiful, wonderful world with us. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. But I just wanted to say thank you for giving me something to look forward to every week. And also, I may or may not have a Slayer's Tape tattoo. Thank you for everything, and uh, yeah. Thank you, Critical Role. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Critical Role. Thank you so much. Well, thank you to the cast for letting us into your world, and thank you to the crew for your tireless work every week to make it happen. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So much love to you guys. <laughs> Is it Thursday yet? <laughs>